हेलो वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू वन एंड ऑल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेलकम टू फर्स्ट डम सीइंग लॉट ऑफ गीक्स अराउंड हियर या टॉपिक फॉर लाइक माय सेशन इज पर्सोना लाइक हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू एक्चुअली नो और अबाउट हर हर्ड अबाउट पर्सोना कैन हैव सम हैंड्स ओके सो या पर्सोना इज जनरली इट्स लॉग इन सिस्टम इट्स सिमिलर टू सिंगल साइन ऑन बट लेट्स सी हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट एंड वाई यू हैव टू ऑप फॉर दिस एंड हाउ वी कैन ऑन विच प्रोटोकॉल इट्स वर्किंग एंड विल सी इट्स पैक्स एंड ऑल सो हाउ मुजिल्ला पर्सोना लाइक इज यूजफुल फॉर यूजर्स how we, how we, how it is easy uh, to implement this for developers and how uh, the port protocol uh, works on this so a uh, mozilla persona as i said uh, it's better way to sign in or a login uh, system like single sign on so uh, this basically uh, helps users to log in quickly uh, on secure manner and uh, it doesn't ask you a password so it's something uh, which is uh, different from single sign on so uh, when you uh, do single sign on we need to uh, actually uh, depend on uh, third parties like in order to uh, authenticate the credentials right and uh, it asks to uh, share your uh, privacy information like uh, maybe your uh, phone number uh, uh, like let's consider an example when whenever we log in uh, through facebook via facebook or to any other site it asks uh, you to share uh, information to access the information of your email and uh, phone number or uh, so that uh, we get lot of uh, mails and uh, they can post on your wall uh, without asking your permission and it also has many privacy issues so like uh, i'll just show you like what's the current state of our sign so uh, this is how when we see a website it ask uh, you to log in via uh, google or facebook or yahoo so when you say uh, this kind of errors we come across uh, when even we use when uh, try to uh, log in via facebook and all so and uh, this is a main concern main concern of everyone uh, that everyone's information is being shared on uh, social so which in turns uh, have like lot of so the better way to sign in is uh, use uh, mozilla persona uh, which actually helps you to sign in very easily just create an account uh, and next it ask you uh, it asks you to enter your email id so uh, the persona mainly uh, takes email addresses as a unique values and then proceeds for the login so uh, you can uh, it so uh, this is like a screenshot of uh, how you uh manage uh, email ids in the uh, browser so and uh, the supported browsers are like almost every version of firefox supports it and remaining all and uh, as you know everyone know that uh, firefox uh, mozilla uh, mozilla firefox has introduced the uh, firefox os and in that we natively supports uh, this persona uh, sing sign on so why we have to focus specially on uh, developers and why it is easy for them to implement uh, this kind of uh, sign in system uh, so as i said uh, it's uh, very easy to implement there are like about four steps uh, you just include the uh, the javascript uh, file of that and then uh, put login buttons and then verify it and that's it so uh, i say it's a federated protocol because uh, it doesn't actually ask you uh, to log in uh, via it's like a database only with unique values of email ids it doesn't want any other information so whenever you just uh, give your email id as an login uh, it actually validates of if it if you give your email id as at rate yahoo.com so it turn turns ask you for the first time to log into yahoo and then it actually uh, checks whether the email id is existing and whether it is uh, correct or not and then uh, it turns back to your site and then it's login and as i said uh, 
it uh, it helps not to share your personal and privacy information into other websites and uh, you don't need to store passwords and uh, you don't need to rely on third parties so again uh, this in turn el eliminates the registration form so whenever you visit a new website it's uh, horrible to register every site and keeping uh, in memory that uh, each every website uh, every login and password it's very difficult and sometimes they ask for username sometimes they ask for a uh, user email id so it's it's like uh, complicated so this uh, uh, this persona like uh, in turn eliminates the registration and all stuff so again it's open and uh, whenever uh, you use this persona implementation for your websites you don't need to uh, whenever uh, there is a uh, patch submission or patch re uh, the next version of uh, this system releases you don't need to take care of uh, again updating your source code or uh, single sign on system on your website so it turn takes uh, from the update and it just updates so this like uh, the freedom uh, give for, uh, we give for developers is like you can ch uh, change as you uh, ux as you want and in turn uh, it's like translated and available in like 48 languages and uh, so where uh, we actually uh, use in mozilla uh, the persona login so in uh, like everyone knows like mozillians.org is very uh, profile for uh, for every mozillian who is actively vol volunteering so in that we use uh, this sign a uh, single sign on per, uh, persona and even in firefox marketplace and even uh, bugzilla and even in open batches and batch pack so in the morning they were discussing about uh, webmaker so in that also in order to log in uh, you can just log in via persona uh, where it uh, ask you the credential i'll just show the show you the demo afterwards and there are other sites uh, which uh, uses persona as a login system is like woost uh, which is uh, event uh, management system and this is ting might be uh, like people may be knowing uh, this uh, site uh, uh, basically deals with uh, the amount of data used the amount of messages and all and discussion form like these are few websites uh, which act actually have implemented this persona and it was like very success so and uh, uh, even if you are it's not like uh, if if your website is like html or some uh, html you can uh, use a persona if it is like implemented on php you can uh, use this and it has like lot of libraries and plugins as i, I showed you and uh, let me tell you like uh, this persona is uh, basically working on a browser id protocol so uh, let me even tell you like how uh, that browser id protocol works uh, mainly this protocol has three actors uh, users relying parties and identity providers uh, users are quite like common who used to log in the web and uh, relying parties uh, where uh, uh, like let's uh, uh, take as example as webmaker a uh, webmaker dot uh, org is like relying party and identity provider is something like uh, which we use as a login like if you at all you use yahoo uh, at the rate sorry something at the rate yahoo.com as a login so that would be like identity provide so like how the how the this work i'll just uh, tell in uh, like three steps like uh, this is how uh, when you uh, click on sign in uh, it takes your email and as an input and uh, browser id is password like i mean to say a persona's password for the first time and then it uh, generates a key value pair stores its uh, private key in the uh, pc and send its public key to uh, identity authority and then they sign uh, with the public key and then email id and they'll uh, have they'll issue with validity interval like uh, certif certificate and then uh, it's it sends that certificate again back to a user and after it received by the user uh, it uh, it has to prove the ownership so again the uh, user's browser writes some kind of assertion in which uh, its email id and key and other details are present and that assertion is again sent to relying party uh, like with the, with user certificate and then it's validated uh, so uh, uh, this is something like 
overview like where your uh, user rate you log in and from identity provi provider it is like validated and then you can just log into the website uh, i'll just show you a demo of that so like in the morning they were saying like we want to like log in into webmaker site then we have to use like login persona it's like so i say i have already used many times login if someone could uh, come and try they want to log in into this site then we can so it's it's not asking me any password or anything i'm just yeah i'm logged in so it's like very easy or uh, someone wants to try <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Uh, like if it is Firefox browser, then uh, with the option called Firefox Sync, uh, if suppose you are uh, lo you have logged in in your desktop Firefox browser, so and you have the same uh, sync. Uh, key in your android phone then uh, it's you can directly log in so i think it's clear so he uh, in this we have sync now so this is the option i was telling about I think I'll use my other email ID rather than this. Uh, just remove this, or else, yeah. So it's now verifying uh, with uh, Gmail because I have entered at the right Gmail. Oh, I'm already. might be if someone wants to can try are the restrictions on the email address uh as of i knew it's at yahoo gmail uh hotmail it's working fine okay any any email address should break it just goes to the full bag yeah I forgot the, the Unicode number, it doesn't matter. <laughs> because I have a uh, domain with a Unicode character, and it's a Google Apps domain, but I, I, I just don't have it here. <laughs> Let's try this. <coughs> yeah, mine is asking for me. It's currently low. <laughs> uh, this, this one second, one second. Look suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should work now. It's still there. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So now I can try. Yeah. password, remember your password. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for the first time, we need to value. <laughs> Yay! Phone call, phone call. <laughs> phone call. We got it. Yeah. yeah, it only. <laughs> wow, there we go. Oh, that's a good start. <laughs> okay, what do I do now? You have logged into the website, so you can. <laughs> Take it on and say, 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we are successfully logged in. Yay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it it will show him. I just uh, try to log in mine or his. I have to remove your name. <laughs> Verify. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm done. Yeah. Like I did not understand. Okay, that means to say like. Uh, it's I I think I can answer this question. You can go to login.persona.org and you can there clear all the persona logins so that it will not log you in anymore. So you can. I think. Can I do it from another computer? Not yet. They're still thinking about that. When you run your personal identity provider, then you could take down your identity provider to do something like it, and that would probably work. So, for example, I have my own IDP, and if I would want to revoke any certificates that are out there for me, then I could take down my IDP to prevent people from logging in with those certificates signed with my earlier private key. Yes, the question, I will repeat the question for you. The question was that you said that since identity providers are bound to the domain for the email address and we just showed login in with Gmail, the question is if, pers if Google supports Persona and the answer is it does not directly, but the Persona team has built a couple of bridges that allow using the Google OAuth uh, API to uh, act as an identity provider. So you're really logging into gmail.login.persona.org and it uses the Gmail APIs to reuse uh, their credentials. And that works for Yahoo, Yahoo and Gmail today. Yes. Does this work with Internet Explorer? Yes. How? Hi. Do you want to answer the question? No, I think he has already said. So yes, it does work, and it's because it's all JavaScript mostly. Thank you. Thanks all. Yes, a big, a big applause for him because he has done a lot of kilometers to come here.
So really, it deserves.